Well, hello again, friends. I want to remind you that this Sunday, this coming Sunday, is another worship on the lawn at 1030 in the morning this Sunday. It's going to be a beautiful day, but it'll be a little chilly. So bundle up and join us on the lawn this Sunday at 1030. If you're not able to do that, I'll know that you can, uh, it'll be live streamed as well, and you can join us that way. We look forward to seeing you in whatever way you can be with us in worship. So today I want to talk to you about what I would call our ability to respond differently. You know, we know the way things typically go, right, when we're in a conversation, especially online. You know, we get into a conversation that turns into a disagreement and it ends up maybe in a full-blown argument. And everyone is trying to prove the other one wrong and just, or putting them down, or at worst, making idle threats. But what if we could find it in ourselves to respond differently? I recently read an article this week, uh, and in the article, the person talked about a book that they had written and a conversation that came about on social media uh, because of the book. And this is what he, he says. He said, one day I received a comment on social media from a man named Bob. Evidently, Bob had sought me out to make sure he knew, I knew what he thought about my book. <laughs> he started off by saying, my daughter told me that I should get your book and that I might learn a thing or two by reading it. So I invested in your book. What a waste of time your book was. I can't believe I spent actual money on it. I, I want that time back. I wish I could get a refund. And then he proceeded to insinuate, you know, problems with my character, you know, based on my book. Now, normally, he wrote, uh, something like that causes me to fire right back. You know, I can hold my own. And after all, I'm used to this stuff. My book typically has been generating some controversial conversations. But it was an off day for me. And there was something about Bob that whispered to me to respond differently. So after calming myself down and taking a break from our little back and forth, I came back to it and I said, I'm sorry that you didn't like the book. If you are comfortable giving me your address, I'm happy to personally send you a refund. And then I suggested other books that he might find more enjoyable. Well, to my surprise, that response began a different kind of conversation where we both began sharing things we liked and things we didn't. We slowly made a connection with one another. And that entire time ended with him simply saying, I've become convinced that you're actually a better person than your book revealed you to be. And I hope that you know I'm a better person than my comment revealed me to be. So what just happened there? I'll tell you. What happened is God used that conversation to reveal to each of them that on the other end of the line was a person, an actual person with feelings and hopes and dreams and hardship and pain. For a moment, they began to see one another as utterly and completely human, all because one of them found the courage to respond differently. May we find that same courage in ourselves, too. Give that some thought this week. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.